Full transparency before we get started here, I am a single founder of my company. So a lot of times when I give my insights, not expertise, but insights on what makes a great co-founder and how to find one, it's from my observations to some of the best co-founders I've ever met and many of the great clients we work with. So what makes them successful? What keeps them together? And the number one thing I can tell you right off the bat is a shared vision. Not a similar vision, but literally they both believe the same core values and the same objectives and are shooting for it. It needs to be two people, three people, or whatever your team is that is aligned to move the same mountain. Because if you can do that, you will move that mountain. That's number one thing. The second biggest thing is you can't have two people that do the same things. You're going to butt heads, you're great at sales, don't have a co-founder that's also great at sales. You need a co-founder that's great at biz debt, or great at development, or great at branding. Whatever that complements a strength, that's the recipe to a great co-founder. And the third thing, do not rush finding a co-founder. A great co-founder, the ones that work, have built real chemistry, a real relationship, and are in it for the long haul. These three things is what makes a great co-founder. And what I have found time and time again from those who truly kick some ass. Now, with that all said, I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a minute. Why you don't need a co-founder. I did start Chop Dog with another individual, but for all intents and purposes, he left the company one month into me starting. So it's pretty much just always been me. But that's the thing, it hasn't been me. If it wasn't for my team, I promise you, I would not be doing this video right now. Literally speaking, I have a team member right behind the camera. You can't do great things without having great people helping you. But you don't need a co-founder to have a great team. You can go keep bringing on team members and people are gonna compliment you. That will offset having no co-founder. So there is a way to succeed without having a co-founder. And you don't even need a direct team. You can have an outsourced team. But the important thing is those relationships and the people in place that are gonna help you where you need that help the most.